All right, good evening, ladies. In today's video, I want to talk about what could become the biggest financial bubble in human history. Now, we saw the first innings of it with NVIDIA blowing up and with a few other AI-related co companies blowing up. But I think in the future, AI is going to lead to a massive, massive bubble in financial valuations. And at the moment, there's not really a huge amount of ways that you can invest directly into AI apart from the likes of Nvidia. However, we're gonna discuss some ways you can invest in not only AI, but crypto at the same time. And you might think, well, what has crypto got to do with AI? And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why these are actually a match made in heaven. Now, I don't think it's any surprise to anyone if I say like, AI is going to be one of the biggest transformations in human society ever. I think most of you can agree that AI is going to have a huge impact, as big as an impact or potentially even bigger of an impact that the internet had on human society. And with any kind of technological innovation or breakthrough like that, huge speculation, financial speculation will follow. And we saw that with the dot-com bubble, the same with the crypto bubbles. Now, what is AI actually going to be used for? What is, what is AI going to actually be doing? Well, I, I, I'm sure a lot of this is obvious, but it is going to get a little bit abstract. But once you kind of think through it for yourself, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about and why AI is going to actually have to use, or probably going to end up using blockchains in the future. So what are AIs going to be doing for us in the future? Well, we know they're going to replace a lot of jobs, particularly knowledge worker jobs. So people who are on the internet doing things. AIs will also be used as like personal assistants. So if you want something on the internet or you want to research something, you'll just ask your AI to go find that information for you or book your flights for you, find the best, cheapest flights, repay the debt that you owe to someone halfway across the world, all of these kind of things. Or on behalf of your company, oh, there was the, let's pay off all these invoice, invoices. An AI is probably going to be doing that. It's going to be buying stuff on behalf of your company. So in the distant future, there's going to be an enormous number of AI agents running around the internet on our behalf, scouring the internet for data and information or trading with each other, buying, selling things, doing all the sort of stuff that modern day humans do on the internet. We're just going to allow an AI to do it for us on our behalf once it is proved that it's safe and able to do so. And how are some of the ways we can make it safe? Well, we can use blockchains to cryptographically and verifiably leave a permanent record on a blockchain of all its transactions, all its interactions on certain websites or certain sites or where, whatever it's doing on the internet on our behalf. And we can then reward, because there's no way to punish an AI. Like There's no way to reward or punish an AI. So the only way we can get it to do what we want is to have a record of what it's doing and then program it to keep doing those things. Now, I know this might seem very far out into the future and I'm looking way too like five, 10 years down the road and there's not gonna be people doing that. There's not gonna be AI agents running around for us within the next couple of years. So why would people be investing in AI right now when it's so far away? Well, you have to remember that markets are forward looking. So markets are gonna see where this technology is going to go and this technology is going to go to the fact that there's AI agents doing stuff on our behalf. So the markets are going to be forward looking. And in order for us to, to actually outperform the markets, we have to be more forward looking than the markets are. So we have to imagine where they're going to be forward looking in the future, if you know what I mean. So we have to be two steps ahead of reality and one step ahead of the market. So I do think knowing about and having researched a little bit about the different projects, the crypto AI projects that I'm going to mention in this video, is going to give you an enormous advantage when this inevitable crypto and AI boom comes. The other reason that AIs will be using blockchains is because if you want to prove that you're a human, like these AIs, eventually there's going to be way more AI agents than there are humans on the internet. Like there's going to be, for every one human, let's say there's going to be 10 AIs doing searching on Wikipedia, scouring through Twitter for information about what are people talking about in financial markets, for example, so that AI can go and 
give that to a financial advisor or could just go ahead and invest on your behalf. So all these AI agents are going to be scouring all these websites and the hosters of those websites are gonna to have to be paying for all these AI agents. And these AI agents aren't looking at the ads. So the host of the website is losing out there. So in the future, it's probably going to be some sort of cryptographical proof that you're actually a human if you're on these websites. And if you're not a human, then you're probably gonna to have to pay, if you're an AI, you're probably gonna to have to pay to access the data on that website. And the best way to pay, obviously, is going to be using crypto rails because an AI is way too clunky for an AI to use a credit card or like the a APIs in Web2 using credit cards and bank transfers. Like it's much more difficult to set up an AI to do that rather than to just have an AI have its own wallet where it can spend money as it sees fit and it can pay as it goes. It can, and it can pay as it, you go on all of these websites to access the data. In the future, there will be wallets that have, that are connected to your real identity, where an AI can't get one of these wallets that have a virtual ID on it. Only humans will be able to have one of those. An AI is probably also going to be able to earn money on your behalf. And the easiest way for an AI to accept money is going to be using crypto rails. For example, it could go out, you could set up this AI to find any arbitrage opportunities in the markets and it could go and find these arbitrage opportunities because it doesn't get tired it doesn't need to rest it doesn't need to eat it doesn't need to sleep it can go find these arbitrage opportunities and yeah just make you money on your behalf now this is all just for crypto in general like just probably ethereum solana all of these networks are going to the ais are probably going to be using these sorts of networks in the future but how can you invest directly in crypto like the bridge directly between crypto and AI. All right, so let's talk about a couple of those projects which are bridging the gap between crypto and AI directly. And we'll start off with the bigger projects, but there are there is one small project which I haven't mentioned before with a low market cap, obviously much higher risk, but much higher potential reward. So when we're thinking about AI, we have to remember there are two main things that an AI needs to function. The first of which is computer power, compute power, and the Web2 version of that would be NVIDIA. Now there's no like Web3 version of NVIDIA, there's no crypto version of NVIDIA making chips right now. But what is the second thing that an AI needs? The second thing that an AI needs is data storage. And of course there are crypto data storage projects. I've talked about these a couple of times before, but the main two crypto projects providing data storage, distributed decentralized data storage are Filecoin and Arweave. Personally, I prefer Arweave as it has better tokenomics, but there are a few differences between them. And an AI is definitely going to prefer decentralized data storage rather than centralized data storage. Decentralized data storage has much lower risk than losing your data and much lower risk or basically no risk of having your data censored. The main difference between Filecoin and Arweave is that Arweave, you pay once to store your data and your data is stored forever rather than Filecoin where you pay as you go for keeping your data on chain. Now I've talked about those two projects before. If you want to go a bit deeper on those two, I'll leave a video up there where I kind of explain more why an AI will prefer decentralized data storage rather than centralized players. Let's talk about the lower market cap one that I haven't talked about before. And that is Imagine AI. Why am I bullish on Imagine AI? Like I said, I think AI is going to be one of the biggest financial bubbles in human history. This ticker has AI in the name. This is actually an AI crypto project. That's enough for me to be bullish on it, essentially, but it's actually a good app as well. It's a good product as well. So what is Imagine AI? It's essentially like a crypto mid journey. And why do we need a crypto mid journey? Because for example, as you can see here, people are getting blocked on mid journey. You don't have freedom to make whatever content you want using mid journey like this person trying to create an image of a dog got blocked you don't have real autonomy essentially the power is all remaining with these companies like mid journey to allow you access to their platforms if they don't like you they can shut you out now with imagine ai it's using crypto rails there's no blocks you can create whatever you like well within reason you can you can't obviously create child porn or something 
disgusting like that. But no one's going to stop you because of where you live or something like that. And it's all on crypto rails. So you pay as you go with crypto rails. So right now, I imagine AI is free. The, this is a free version. This is an image I created with the prompt I gave it. it wasn't very like well thought out, but photorealistic close up of an ape holding a coin in its hand and smiling. That's, this is the photo it generated. So like maybe my prompt wasn't very good, but still pretty decent output. Probably not as good as mid journey, but you can see where like the potential is there like they're going to continually improve on this photo generator, this AI photo generator. And in the future, you're going to be able to pay over crypto rails to have access to the better versions. Or if you want access to like being able to create a lot of photos or being able to plug in your own photos, etc., etc. And of course, they're going to be using the Imagine AI token to facilitate that. And there's going to be a buyback and burn mechanism. And like I've been talking about in my last few videos, the buyback and burn mechanism or di revenue distribution has been any of those kind of projects that are actually have a lot of users and a lot of revenue being generated are doing enormously well. The likes of Unibot and Rollbit, one of the best, two of the best pro uh, returns in crypto this year using one of these mechanisms. So that's kind of really one of the plays for the next cycle. Any of these projects that are doing some sort of buyback and burn like buying back some of the tokens on the open market and sending them to the burn address or allowing you to share in the revenue by holding a certain amount of tokens and distributing distributing revenue f to you directly for holding those tokens so already they have thousands of people using their new web app so you can do this on their web app there's 80,000 people in their Discord. So they're already a very successful project, especially with normies. And you don't need to be from a certain country. You don't need to use a VPN. You can just pay for it using crypto rails. Well, that's the, the vision in the future. Uncensorable prompting AI. And the nice thing about it, extremely low market cap project, less than $100 million in valuation. And yeah, in the future, you know, I think AI is going to be an enormous bubble. I think crypto and AI are going to enter enormous bubble territories. So any sort of AI project under a hundred million with a lot of people actually using it, you know, it's it's an opportunity in my opinion. Obviously there's a huge risk with these lower market caps, so do your own research. Don't blame me if it goes to zero. It could. But I think being on top of these narratives, crypto and AI will be very important over the coming years. I think at some point there will be a huge, huge bubble in this particular sector, especially in the crossover of this sector. These are some of the projects that fit that that crossover. So I think it's it's not happening straight away. It's not happening right now. But yeah, I think it, it is smart to be aware of it. And it is smart to do your own research on some of these projects and also try and find your own projects that are crypto related and also ai related okay so really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind smashing the like button if you did enjoy see you in the next one cheers